Hello guys, welcome to the uh, patch discussion uh, that just hit uh, um, yesterday night. Um, a few things were addressed about uh, um, some uh, problematic warlords. Uh, so starting off, uh, Arkans Land uh, BDT is now cost two energy instead of one, um, and I think uh, this will. Uh, uh, tuning a little bit from overpowered to uh, like a normal warlord um, still pretty strong but nowhere as powerful as before since uh, now uh, it can't chain the ability uh, just playing a vehicle um, so it's a neat change another change is to uh, Infernus Abomination now the special card uh, the tra transmutative armaments just gives uh, uh, plus one attack instead of plus two, uh, the armor blade one, and I think uh, it's uh, okay. S like nobody will play this card like uh, Infernus, I think right now because uh, uh, I think it was more interesting uh, before, like with two energy and get plus two plus zero. Uh, because getting plus one plus zero is just not powerful enough. Uh, um, so yeah, like I think they changed him uh, in the worst way possible, uh, but they didn't want to actually make him like he was before uh, at two energy. But I, I think I already uh, said uh, in the last patch review that I thought in terms of abomination was more than fine. And uh, yeah, I think uh, now it's worse than before because, uh, like, uh, going from plus one, plus two, plus zero oh, to one plus one plus zero oh is a pretty big difference, I think. Um, but anyway, like uh, as it was now uh, needed to to be addressed, so uh, at least uh, they fixed that. And then we have a change of baseful assembly. Uh, now, before it lowered the cost uh, of the chaos troops uh, in end and deck uh, to zero, now it, uh, it's to one. And I think it's a, it's, it's a pretty big change. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I, I guess uh, um, uh, Cypher with this car was pretty annoying, but. Uh, I don't think it was overpowered, like just because you don't have enough ag aggro decks that can kill him uh, fast enough uh, uh, doesn't mean that this card is overpowered. I wouldn't have changed it, but anyway. And another change is uh, Blessing of the Four now gives two Mark of Chaos instead of three. And this is a big change for uh, uh, Proctor. Like this basically, I don't think it kills Proctor, but it severely. Um, damages his win rate uh, and also the um, some of the uh, disciples of caliban uh, decks uh, but i guess it needed to be changed because it's ju it, it was a little bit bullshit um then then going into the uh warlord overall um we start with uh, raven guard agapito nav got uh, uh, an eye initiative and I think uh, this is pretty nice, like uh, it's a shame that he was a medium initiative warlord. Uh, uh, I think it's overall way better now, even if I don't play Ravenguard. Uh, then we have two changes to uh, Sisters of Silence. Now Crawl has uh, an active ability uh, that actually lets her, lets her draw card and this is amazing, like this is uh, uh, what Crawl needed to maybe come back a little bit because uh, uh, it's a shame that uh, she was nerfed so many times and uh, now nobody's playing her I, I i think i encountered a couple of crawl in the last uh, month but uh, yeah overall uh, it's not a great warlord like before like they changed the um the battle honor they changed a lot of uh, uh, sister of silence card I think now she's quite better. The big change is to, I think, Amendera Candle. Now the Greater Destiny, uh, before it used to cost two, now costs zero and costs one more and goes back into your deck. So now you can actually uh, play this card way more consistently than before. 
uh, and actually now she has a turn one play uh, so you can play the silent sisterhood uh, because you always have this out on turn one and turn two you already start bashing faces or uh, actually you can play something else but i think it, uh, this world got way better also as an eye, an eye initiative uh, can draw cards so you can uh, go like to 33 hp and to attack and uh, um, you can also draw a card in the first turn i think this is really powerful um so yeah it's a, i think it's a nice change she doesn't uh, get the attention she deserves, uh, like everybody's playing Kazarin, but I think uh, Amendera now maybe could be better, also because Kazarin has medium initiative and uh, she has high initiative. Um, then we have a change to Beyond Special, with, uh, which I don't know what did before, but now is uh, two energy, two space wolf Astartes, and put it in your hand, cost one less. I think it kind of neat like no it's not powerful but uh, like i would still play uh lemon Russ over bjorn but uh, it okay it's an okay card to have o also maybe also we are make is better but uh, i don't know I, I don't really play with uh, space wolves so it's difficult for me to say uh then we have a change to custodis uh kalimacon uh now gives plus two plus one plus two to two random tools in your hand it's a pretty big buff i have to say like if you buff uh, for example bikes they become a four seven and uh four four energy and you can actually do this uh, on turn like you can put a four seven a four seven fast on turn uh, um on turn four uh, on turn three at four energy i think it's pretty good like i don't even think that he was that bad before uh, i never played with it but uh, i play some custodies and uh, uh, yeah the buff is neat like you you can also buff uh, um, neutral cards and plus one plus two buff it's pretty good like flanking card especially uh, benefit greatly from uh, increased stat buff um so i don't think uh, it's that bad at all also makes uh, like hunting eagles way more survival because it's at 7 8 is really big to take down um also um uh art long veterans like 7 7 survivor 2 for 5 energy it's uh it's really good <laughs> sorry and uh yeah, also Turmalis support, 6-8 uh, uh, for 5 energy, like they become really big, really fast. Uh, I think it's a cool warlord, it's a shame nobody's playing him. Um, then we have a uh, change to um, Imperial Fist, uh, Rogaldor now has Bastion 5, so it's a 45 HP warlord like uh, Vulcan. And uh, the Reckoning uh, was... Um, uh, cut down in cost from 25 to 20 and uh, this is a change they should have made long ago because uh, now it's so hard to keep the um, cost going down as uh, as Dorn like you have so much more control from other warlords that it's actually really hard to um, to get it playable and uh, actually the, 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 the reckoning is uh, like really good like uh, Every time he puts the stone gauntlet and gives Bastion free for one energy, I think it's great. Uh, it's a shame also because I really like Imperial Fists. I didn't like uh, uh, Cambadias, uh, but I really like the Rogaldorn. I also, I, like, uh, before I got away from Horus Religion, I started to playing him a lot. Uh, and uh, I really like the way he plays, like, more control uh, kind of uh, warlord. And it's a shame that uh, like they get nerfed a couple of times and uh, like they basic basically non-existent right now. And also, uh, Fafni Run got changed. Uh, before I thought, I think the co the um, cost of the ability was two energy, and now they change it back to one energy. And I think the change is uh, really good because uh, you can chain these uh, way more effectively. And uh, 
like acts a, a little bit uh, like an aggressive way to play to play uh, imperial fist uh, i don't think still that they are designed to play aggressively but uh, fafnir is uh, it's interesting at the very least um then uh, um you have a ch couple of changes to world eaters and i actually am very interested about these so the first one is drager now it gets cleave two instead of cleave one um and this is a pretty big change like going from two damage from one damage to two damage like we saw with the lord of flies uh, really changes the way a warlord plays and the uh, um the strength it can have and i think the cliff 2 is like puts him on par with other warlords uh like cargos or uh, new Karn. um it's a way more control way to keep war details but remember that you have a uh, like a mini board clear ability for zero energy always active um and if even if you um uh, don't clear still the two damage is going to impact like a four four uh, you slap the warlord the four four is going to die the moment it attacks drager uh so i don't think it's bad also going from uh, three cleave uh, to four cleave if you play Kedar weapons i think is uh, pretty big and then you have a complete overall to karn uh, now uh, the ability changes uh, to, to gain bloodthirst until the end of the uh, of your next turn and he still can attack after because he, he has bloodthirst so i think it's great and uh, this was before the special card he had that now is giving a mark of chaos to ward eater troops uh, which is okay nothing crazy like you have crimson path which is basically the same thing but uh, also works with uh, uh, neutral stuff and uh, uh, gives up stat buff if they, if they have berserk um, so it's a little bit worse but it's also free um, i think maybe we can see a um, solo warlord type of deck with karn now like it's very much doable i try to play him a little bit but i'm not experienced uh, a lot in uh, solo warlord decks i don't like to play them usually but i was excited to play him uh, he feels really interesting like he's also with the cliff 2 uh, with, with the weapons the cadir weapons uh, giving to cliff 2 to a uh, warlord that uh, has bloodthirst is way more impactful uh, and works really well with church forward works really, really well with um, um what is it the apothecary larsak with the uh, rhino pardus rhino uh works really really well with round of war like uh, this gives him plus six damage in one turn and heals him for free um works really well with black blade like i think it's uh very interesting how they changed him vicious strike gets uh, cut down by two uh, every time you activate the ability like for in two turns you can lower the, the cost to four uh, I think it's uh, really interesting like a, re a really interesting board that also has some kind of board control because of his uh, um, savage ability uh, so yes I think uh, Karn will be interesting to, to play and to and to try um, then we have a change to Eidolon uh, the special card now costs one energy before I think it costed three energy I think or three or uh, or two energy and this is great like I, I really like the warlord it's uh, it's very funny um, and also he was maybe with Fabius is he was the worst uh, warlord out of the five um, now at least he has something going for him like the card is actually really neat and uh, death by noise also can go on the warlord so he, he has a five damage burst uh, by default for one energy um, and i think uh, I, I i actually tried him a little bit i i'm not i don't have a lot of uh, imperial uh, imperial children cards but i think he's he has some legs like uh, it's not bad at all and also like disorient is amazing so it's, it's really strong as an ability so um i think uh, uh we could see more of him uh, uh in the like in in this month uh, people trying it out uh, try, trying it out and i think it's uh, amazing because 
Mm. It's a neat, very neat warlord. Then we have a change to uh, Erasmus Ruman, um, now as medium initiative, uh, which is good. Going from uh, low initiative to medium initiative is actually a pretty big step forward. Uh, I don't play Iron Hands, but uh, um, like I don't know, it seems uh, like a neat change. I, I didn't even see, I think, him play once, so uh, at the very least uh, they're doing something for him. Another one is uh, uh, this guy, finally goes to two, <laughs> two attacks instead of one. So he's actually dealing three damage uh, every time he attacks. And I think this was the, a change that needed to be made long ago because uh, uh, having one attack and one poison is worse than having two attacks. So at least uh, now there is one reason of uh, playing him uh, also it interacts really well with uh, um, uh, with um, Arbinger of Decay because then he goes to poison 3 and uh, um, and 2 attack and now like deal 6 damage plus the poison starts to tick up um, I think uh, it's really interesting uh, maybe some people will try it out i don't think it's bad right now like i think it's pretty good uh, going from uh, one attack to two attack is actually amazing um then we have uh, a change to this guy or zaximan uh, now is high initiative i don't think anybody will play him anyway because uh, why should you play him when you can play Horus? Uh, and uh, also the ability to deal two damage for two energy is just okay the battle honor is okay but still 30 health uh, uh, no healing in the Horus, uh, sons of Horus card pool um, I mean he, I think I don't think he will be played anyway but uh, it's a nice addition maybe also because I think he is a, a free warlord you get when you start the game so um, it's not bad to have him at high initiative like Loken was before. Um, then we have uh, uh, um, change to Blood Angels. The ability of Maros is lower to 1. Um, not bad. I don't think anybody will play Maros anyway, but still it's not bad. And also as Kellon was... Uh, uh, the initiative was increased from uh, medium to high and I don't think this makes that much of a difference either but uh, still need change um, then we have uh, uh, this is a big one uh, Kirin from Orphans of War the ability went from 1 damage to 2 damage and this is amazing like uh, I think it will be uh, pretty interesting now also because the uh, Orphans of War card pool is good. Uh, they just need some little bit of uh, um, of a push, but I think uh, uh, Kirin can be the push. Like he has high initiative, uh, deals two damage with his ability, has a lot of good cards, uh, Brannev, uh, uh, Veteran Kirkane, uh, Moritz, Moritz Cyrus that was changed recently. I think maybe there is a reason to play this guy right now like before when it dealt one damage it was just like you're never going to actually use the ability so damage be um, begins to be uh, way more threatening um, then we have uh, uh, I don't remember where this guy is um, uh, no, ah it's a salamander guy ah uh, this guy went from low initiative to medium initiative um okay need change um i never saw i think once i saw it played so i don't really think it's competitive enough like you should play numeon instead i think but uh, still it's uh, not so bad um then we have a change to Alpha Legion Shigaranko. Uh, now uh, the operative uh, costs one less before it had normal cost. Um, 
interesting because actually uh, for two energy you can put to one of the one energy guys like this or this one and um, it's not bad like on turn one if you are against Angron you can put this uh, he has he's almost obliged to attack so uh, it's going to do one damage or this is going to uh, deal damage to the ancient unit like it's not so bad also uh, if uh, um, you pull him out uh, with uh, um, uh, where is the card uh, with the false colors I think uh, it becomes so much better because uh, like having uh, uh, the operative um, the free energy operative uh, this guy that costs one less uh, is actually very strong and then we have ah, another change to Imperial Fist which is Siege's Moon that went from medium initiative to high initiative I think still Siege's Moon sucks but uh, uh, like the test champions card is not that good but uh, at least they are trying to do something for him i i know that when i i, I wasn't playing the game he was uh, obnoxious to deal and then they make him useless like uh, of, often happens um and it's a shame uh but still i don't think this is enough to make him viable like high initiative is going not going to help him anyway uh that, like mm, i think imperial fist needs some uh, um some way to get back because uh, uh, like half of the cards are just too bad like Bastion uh, like for example like this guy why should you play uh, seven mana six four with Bastion four like it doesn't make any sense uh, like there are some good Bastion cards but most of their high cost card is just so bad um, uh, so I don't know like Siege's Moon doesn't seem appealing to me like if you want an aggressive warlord just play run um, also the card uh, like uh, it's okay but nothing more than that at least uh, it can uh, do it every turn um, and always have your warlord have frontline and three attack but that, like, why should you do that? Like, uh, uh, I don't think it's uh, worth it to play. But uh, anyway, uh, cute they are trying to address the fact that uh, they are no longer played as a faction. And uh, since I like them, uh, I think I will try back uh, Rogaldorn. Um, ho hopefully the reduction in cost of the reckoning is going to make a little bit of a difference but the problem is that uh, like still you need to uh, keep troops around for so many turns for this to be even playable that it's so hard um, like uh, I, th I think when they first released him it was minus two cost and he started at 30 and this was big because with one turn, uh, uh, might be with four troop in, two troops in play, it goes down by eight. And uh, it was way easier uh, to proc the Reckoning. Uh, I don't think I, I, I think I played a couple of games with him, but I never actually got to proc it. Um, so I don't know, like it's uh, hard to say what, um, what what will happen with Imperial Fist? I don't think they are quite on the same level of uh, other warlords or other factions. Um, but yeah, a lot of neat changes. I think the big winners here are World Eaters with uh, Karn and Rhaegar that actually becomes playable. Eidolon, I think, will be good. Um, also, I think Emperor Shield and Calpul is really strong, and people will try to will, will start to realize it really soon because. Uh, uh, like already, except for uh, full Grim, uh, like Mono Warlord deck, uh, I think uh, Marius is really good against solo warlords. Uh, Lucius is good, uh, even if almost nobody is playing him. Idol is cool. Um, Death Guard actually got some uh, something interesting. I think uh, they are one of the worst faction because of how slow they are. Uh, but actually now they got a little bit of something going for them uh, and then 
mm, mainly the other changes are uh, kind of okay but nothing crazy i really like that they tuned down the arcan land and uh, abomination because they were obnoxious anyway uh let me know what you think about the patch and uh, see you guys see you guys next time